Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Okanagan Valley Guide Service. This is Washington. This is where you need to come and hunt some muleys. Okay, this week it's Welcome to this week. We're Noggin. Going, Noggin. We are heading up to Washington State to hunt muleys out of our Ameristep at Okanagan Valley Guide Service. See, that's why I gave you the hint. Noggin. As hard as oak. Yeah. Yeah, and a little nutty maybe. Yeah, I think so. We're heading up there. Jared and Sam have our Ameristep line set up for oh, us. Oh, yeah, the guys are rocking. Late season mule deer hunting in the state of Washington. We had so much fun the last time we went, we had to go back. We had to go back, and so we're going go. back again. So yeah, let's go. Love it. Let's do it. We got our hoists. Let's get going. Ralph and Vicki are off to Washington. Soaring over the Rocky Mountains, they soon arrive in Spokane, where they meet up with Jared, their guide. While Washington is home to many deer species, such as the white-tailed deer and even black-tailed deer, Ralph and Vicki will be pursuing mule deer with Okanagan Valley Guide Service located in North Central Washington. Oh, there you go. Yep. I'm not sure if this is the way you're supposed to use it, but... I think it is. Just because might get me a little... rifle season. I, no, I thought it was a bib for the seafood. So what I'm going to do... <laughs> so what I'm going to do to help everybody out is I'm going to add this on, and I'm going to give you some extra sure. I'm going to just spray it all over myself. <laughs> and stop that everyone's blind? Yeah. So if I'm yelling, that's a good thing. But if I start screaming... Then that's even better. <laughs> things have gotten... Things have gotten out of control. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is why we come here. <laughs> Sam the man, I mean, and now, well, Sam the doe, I guess you would say. He, he, he is, it was a, uh, a certain type of change through the year that we met him from last year to this year, but he's a doe this year, and I guess it's politically correct to be a doe now. <laughs> An evening of laughs and stories is shared by the hunters, and before they know it, morning arrives. Well, it is the first morning out here at Okanagan Valley Guide Service with Jared Gibbons, and I'm telling you, all the guys are pretty much out. They got Vicky out this morning, and um, we're not going as far, so we could sort of get a little bit later start, but we're pumped up. But the difference compared to from last year to this year is it is Holy cow, it's way warmer. I mean, I got my Browning Primaloft bibs and everything because we figured, oh my gosh, we got our Cabela's heated vests. We got everything we thought we would need from last year, but it's not feeling like we might need them this year. But who knows, you never know, it could change. And here comes the man himself. We got our coffee, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we deal with. You know, Josh and I got in the blind and it's it's dark 30, man. I mean, pitch black. And on this hunt is Jared and the guides. They put you out before sunup and they pick you up after legal shooting time. I mean, it's an all day sit. So you better be prepared mentally and physically, you know, to sit all day. From the Midwest, you don't hear a lot about Washington State. I'm telling you what, they're covered up with game. There's a whole lot of different species to hunt, but most of all, I mean, the terrain is unbelievable. It's just beautiful. You know, we could see a couple deer movement coming up, coming from our right, and we had one to the left, and it wasn't 20, 30 minutes. And Josh can see more to the left, I could see more to the right, and Josh says, buck, little buck. Bigger buck, bigger buck. Sure enough, I could look and, and he just, he was he was on a hot doe and this little buck, anytime that little buck would turn and start to come in, you know, it was like, oh no. He frisled up, he snort wheezed. I mean, it was, what a, what a unbelievable experience to witness. Now normally, first day, yeah, Ralph's not, Ralph's not getting prepared, he's waiting but not this trip. A 
what we later found out, you know, going in and out of there, that this buck was on lockdown on a doe. So he wasn't coming, wasn't coming in front of the trail camera. Uh, he was on the hill somewhere, but we just weren't seeing him. So uh, we noticed the rut change going out through all the other ranches. The bucks were on lockdown. Wherever that doe went, the bucks were. And we just happened to get lucky with Ralph opening day. This big buck is chasing the doe. He's chasing this little buck, keeping him away. And it's the cat and mouse game. And <laughs> I mean, this is, we are, we are point blank range from this thing. In this time of year, during any rutting situation on any big game animal, you know you have a millisecond to make it happen. So you have to be on your guard 100% of the time. Ralph has just taken a shot at a big buck and the blood trail looks good. With a potential double lung shot, things are already looking up on the first day. You see the blood? I just shot my first Washington State meal there. And all we saw was that spitfire. Blood was spewing out. The blood trail? Oh my gosh. Was it a paintbrush trail? It was more like a um, a spray, you know, a, a spray gun trail. Mm -hmm. Gotta love my Spitfires. Look at that. Look at this, Josh. Look at that. Look at on the bolt. Look at that. Is that wild? Look at the blood splatter on that. Now look, you could see how hard he's running. Wow, he covered some ground, man. The blood trail was one, uh, just one of those ones you remember. You couldn't place an arrow better if you would have just stuck him. You could look 25 yards in front of you and see this blood trail. I mean, it was like it was in snow. There he is, guys. He's right here. There he is. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, no wonder. Look at the shot, bud. I took him right here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. First Washington mule deer with Jared Gibbons, baby. Okanagan Valley, and I am telling you what. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> the Cabela's team comes through again. Oh. Wow, look at the mass, huh? And he was rutting hard. So Ralph, these, yeah. uh, these probably work real good on your back home whitetail. Yeah. These are Washington mule deer, dude. You're gonna need two of these. They aren't gonna fit around. You see, you see what I deal with. If it ain't Vicky, it's him. I'm telling you what. <laughs> The day is young and Ralph has already filled his tag with an enormous mature mule deer on his first morning. A rarity by anyone's standards, even seasoned hunters like the Cian Cirillos. Nevertheless, the hunt continues on as Vicky is still in the blind eager for an opportunity of her own. It's 1015, first morning here at Okanagan Valley Guide Service. And Ralph has already tagged out. I think it's rigged this year which is okay because last year I did get a mule here and he did it. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna go home empty handed. It's still only the first morning and it's 10 17. So it's time to hope that I get a good mature buck coming through here shortly.
One of the most unique things I have to say on this trip was the melanistic dough. She's yes. dark chocolate brown, Beautiful. mule deer dough. I mean, I've never seen, I've seen photos of them, but I've never had it. And she came in, she was within 20 yards of us. I mean, just to watch it was really cool. And they said no one else has ever seen her at the blinds. Really? So that was really, it was, it was a neat experience to witness it. As the afternoon progresses, Vicki continues to witness an abundance of mule deer. From fawns to does to spikes and even deer in velvet, the wide range of game is nothing short of astonishing. Before long, a mature buck is spotted following a doe. With the potential shooter buck drawing closer, Vicki prepares for a shot. The crew prepares for another day of hunting at Okanagan Valley Guide Service, and breakfast is just about ready. After chowing down, Ralph and Vicki say their goodbyes as Vicki heads to the stand. I'm done, and Vicki's still sitting in her blind. I feel so sorry for her. I think I'll go back, get in Jared's truck, turn on the heated seats, and relax. Sorry, honey. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Yesterday was a really slow day. It made for a long day, sitting in the blind. Today, we've already seen since sunup, we've already seen more deer today than we saw all day yesterday, so hopefully, the rain that came last night maybe kept them set it down, bed it down for a while, and they're moving this morning. As the morning continues, more deer pass by the blind until suddenly, out of nowhere, an enormous 5x3 presents an opportunity. With no doubt, this is not only the most mature, but biggest body deer she has seen yet. Vicky readies herself for a shot.
that. I can't see where he went. He just went down over that hitch there. He was slightly quartering away. I drew back once. And then he turned and I couldn't get a shot at him. And then all of a sudden, she started walking away and I know what that meant. That means that we're going to be here all day long again. And they're going to go away and we're not going to see him again. Anyway, she started walking to the east. I was full draw. I knew he was at 20 yards. He's like 22 yards. I watched Chad move the camera from one side of the blind to the other. He didn't tell me no. And as he was walking, I was I never do that. I go that. <laughs> And he stopped, and it was just enough for what I needed. He was slightly quartering away. He took that arrow, did that mule kick, and he ran that way. Fix it, baby. Well, for some reason now my leg won't stop shaking. Are you happy now? <laughs> do, you think, do you think Sam will just drive in, or do you think he'll text me back? Because I kind of hear a vehicle. Why are you smiling so much? No, because I feel good about the shot. Okay. No, I feel good about it. Here's my arrow. I hit him on the right side. And he, he went up to, look, he's got blood all the way up to the fletching. Yeah, and it come back blood. out. Get like blood. Yeah. Smell okay? Oh! That's not good. I normally don't do that, but that's not good. No. There's some blood on that one. Okay, there's blood on that one. What? Back around the other side, I saw some blood on there. So did he crash through there? Ran. Big time. Do you see him? Or do you see the doe? You see the doe. It was my turn to start messing with Vicky, so started clapping my hands at her and not telling her why. And then we recovered the animal. You know, I... <laughs> it was a great experience. Uh, Ralph and Vicky's passion for this sport is very rejuvenating to somebody that has hunted their whole life. Oh, look at that's a, you know what? His body's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Oh my goodness. You know what? Sam, come here. He is the biggest body deer that we saw. By far. By far. Look at those, those are really cool looking eye guards. He does, he have eye guards. He's an old deer. Well. He's, he's actually a one, two, three, four. He's a five by three. He's five not a, three. he's not a, he's not a four by two. Or an eight pointer if you really want. No, he's, no, no, he's a five by three. Five he's beautiful. Three. And he's got that muley face. Oh, he's he got is. the white nose. He is definitely, like I said, he's the most mature buck that we've seen him running around. Yeah. He just, body size, everything compared to some of the other ones. Okanagan Valley Guide Service. This is Washington. This is where you need to come and hunt some muleys. We what a cool hunt. I mean, it's just different. It's so much, Late season. It is. You know, we have a great time up there, sitting near Marista blind, not freezing out in a tree stand. No, it wasn't cold, but it wasn't cold like it was the year before. No, but it still got chilly. Oh, it wasn't it bad. You sat out like a day and a half. I sat out almost the entire week, so don't give me... You know, but you shot a beautiful buck. Wow. I shot a beautiful buck. Jared, Sam, you guys did an awesome job for us. We really appreciate it. Okanagan Valley Guide Service, you guys are the best. We have so much fun up there, and it's always a great trip. Can't wait to get back there, and thanks, guys. And, and thanks yeah. for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.